Strategy Management Series. Video number 51 Strategy Formulation. Step 3, External Analysis Execution. Welcome back to the Ready MBA series on Strategy Management. In our previous videos, we introduced the three processes of strategy management that guide organizations in achieving their goals and objectives, strategy formulation, strategy implementation, and strategy control. We also introduced the eight-step framework used in the strategy formulation process. We discussed the two parts of external analysis, the macro-external environment and the industry competitive analysis. We then introduced the External Factor Evaluation Matrix FA, a strategic management tool used to evaluate and prioritize external factors affecting an organization. In today's video, we will bring together the different elements of the external analysis discussed thus far and explore how a fictional company would perform this step in their strategy formulation process. Let's dive in and understand how Acme Corporation conducts an external analysis to identify opportunities and threats that can impact their strategies. The primary objective of the external analysis step is to identify the main opportunities and threats presented by the external environment to the company over their chosen planning horizon. With the company's strategic intent in place, Acme assembles a diverse planning team comprising representatives from all departments and organizations. This inclusive approach ensures a broad range of perspectives and fosters a comprehensive understanding of potential challenges from different angles. It also cultivates buy-in and future alignment with the company's strategic priorities. The team establishes regular meetings to analyze and prioritize key issues. Their initial focus revolves around conducting a thorough examination of external factors and forecasting their anticipated changes throughout the planning horizon. The primary objective at this stage is to identify and map out external opportunities and threats that will shape the company's strategic formulation. The strategy department takes the lead in coordinating the process, providing market and competitive intelligence data, and facilitating the analysis. This centralized approach streamlines the process and ensures a cohesive understanding among the team. In the absence of a dedicated strategy function, these responsibilities should be assigned to different members of the planning team. Step 1 Macro Environment Analysis Acme Corporation initiates a comprehensive macro environment analysis by reviewing data and information from various sources such as industry reports, market research, government publications, and trade associations. This analysis helps them understand economic trends, social and cultural influences, demographic changes, natural factors, political and governmental aspects, legal considerations, and technological advancements that could impact their industry and the company. These findings should be translated into potential opportunities or threats for the organization that should be considered during their strategic planning process. Step 2 Industry Analysis after completing the macro environment analysis, Acme moves on to the industry analysis phase. They utilize Porter's Five Forces framework to gain insights into the competitive landscape. This involves analyzing suppliers, buyers, new entrants, substitutes and competitors. By understanding these elements, Acme gains valuable knowledge about the industry dynamics and identifies potential opportunities and threats. Step 3 Value Net Analysis In addition, as part of the industry analysis, Acme incorporates the Value Net Analysis to complement their understanding. The Value Net framework helps them assess the cooperative and competitive relationships among industry players. They examine strategic partnerships, distribution channels, and potential collaborations to create value. Additionally, they identify potential conflicts and rivalries that could pose threats to their business. This analysis enables Acme Corporation to have a holistic view of their industry ecosystem. Step 4 Scenario Development With the industry analysis complete, Acme Corporation proceeds to scenario development. They envision different future scenarios and assess how external factors may impact their industry, as well as the company itself. By considering potential changes in technology, regulations, consumer preferences, and other variables, they can anticipate challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. 
ACME uses strategic foresight techniques to guide their scenario development process. Strategic foresight techniques are methods used by organizations to anticipate and prepare for future changes and trends in the business environment. These techniques help in making informed decisions, adapting to new conditions, and gaining a competitive advantage. Let's briefly discuss some of them. 1. Scenario Planning This technique involves creating different plausible scenarios of the future based on various factors. It helps organizations prepare for a range of possible outcomes and develop strategies that are flexible enough to adapt to different scenarios. 2. Trend Analysis This technique focuses on identifying and analyzing emerging trends, such as technological advancements, social shifts, and economic changes. By understanding these trends, organizations can adjust their strategies to align with potential future developments. 3. Delphi Method This technique involves gathering input from a panel of experts to assess and predict future trends or outcomes. Experts provide their insights and discuss the findings to reach a consensus on potential future developments. 4. Wildcards Analysis Wild cards are unexpected events with significant impacts. This technique involves identifying and preparing for such events, even if they seem unlikely. It helps organizations be more resilient and adaptable. 5. Wargaming This involves simulating competitive scenarios and potential disruptions to test the organization's ability to respond effectively. It helps in identifying gaps in strategies and refining responses to future challenges. 6. Technology Roadmapping For industries heavily influenced by technology, this technique involves creating a roadmap of anticipated technological advancements and their potential impact on the organization's products, services, and processes. 7. Cross-Impact Analysis this technique examines the relationships between different variables to understand how changes in one variable can impact others. It helps in understanding complex interdependencies and predicting potential ripple effects. Step 4 Opportunity and Threat Mapping Armed with the insights gained from the macro environment analysis, industry analysis, and scenario development, ACME maps out the identified opportunities and threats. They create a visual representation or matrix, listing the opportunities and threats alongside their potential impact and urgency. This mapping exercise helps them prioritize the most critical issues that require strategic attention and resource allocation. Step 5 Issue Prioritization To ensure effective strategy formulation, ACME's planning team prioritizes the identified opportunities and threats. They evaluate the importance, impact, likelihood, and urgency of each issue and rank them accordingly. This prioritization allows the team to focus their resources and efforts on addressing the most significant areas that require strategic action. It helps ACME Corporation make informed decisions and allocate their resources wisely. During the issue prioritization process, ACME's planning team takes into account the guidance provided by senior leaders through the strategic intent. They carefully evaluate whether any of the identified opportunities or threats conflict with the strategic guidance set by senior management. Additionally, they assess if any of the external trends uncovered during the external analysis phase necessitate a revision or change in the strategic intent. If such misalignments or adjustments are identified, the strategy department takes on the responsibility of articulating this feedback and coordinating conversations with senior leaders. This collaborative effort ensures the robustness and effectiveness of the strategic intent, fostering a cohesive and aligned approach to strategy formulation. Step 6 – External Factor Evaluation Matrix The ACME planning team employs the external factor evaluation methodology to systematically assess and quantify the opportunities and threats in the external environment that can impact the organization's performance and strategic decisions. The FA matrix is a powerful tool for organizations to assess and respond effectively to external opportunities and threats by assigning weights, rating factors, and calculating the total external factor score. The total external factor score shows ACME's response to the external factors that can affect its business.
A 4.0 score means an excellent response whereas a 1.0 shows a very poor response, with 2.5 being the average. If the total weighted score for ACME is below 2.5, it means that on an aggregated level, the organization is below average in responding to external factors, with ample room for improvement. And if the total score is low, it indicates that ACME Corporation needs to develop strategies to address vulnerabilities. ACME's planning team also runs the FA methodology to assess its main competitors and their responses to the main external factors impacting the industry. This analysis provides insights into the relative strengths and weaknesses of each company's strategic alignment with the external environment, guiding decision-making and strategy adjustments. In addition, it can provide ACME's planning team with hints of their competitors' potential strategic moves, which is essential in crafting their own strategies. Conclusion of External Analysis After finalizing the identification of threats and opportunities, ACME's strategy department diligently compiles and documents all the findings. They share summary meeting notes with the planning team and senior stakeholders who may not have been directly involved in the process. This step aims to foster transparency and invite valuable feedback and commentary. By welcoming input from various perspectives, the strategy department ensures that important aspects are not overlooked or missing from the analysis. ACME's planning team also recognizes that this stage is not for immediate problem-solving but for identifying and prioritizing the most impactful issues. Looking ahead, ACME is now preparing for the next series of meetings, dedicated to the fourth step in strategy formulation, internal analysis. And that concludes our discussion of the external analysis and strategy formulation process. Thank you for joining us. In our next video, we will start the conversation on the fourth step in strategy formulation, internal analysis. See you later.